scrape up the car for me? Oh, you're funny. <laughs> We're here for van supplies. Can't That's take her cool. to Home Depot or anywhere where there's plants. We found balances? Valances, not Valances. Valances. I like this one. Olivia likes this one. Describe the inside of the van's style. I think it'd be good if we cut up an old plaid blanket. If you cut... <laughs> No, that from that is the curtains. We've got Wood. polar fleece blankets that have snowflakes on them. No one can see them. those. We've got a Mexican blanket. No one can see that. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you can see it or not. Yes, it does. We've this, got your this comforter blanket. from seventh grade. Ninth. <laughs> oh, the sewn together Marlboro. Okay, a flannel. red a red wool flannel blanket. Oh, yeah, a red but wool I, th plaid I think we need to put the red plaid blanket on with the red plaid sheets. With the black yeah, side of the comforter. Yeah, but you don't this. have to. Yeah, okay, then that's fine. The other ones are flannel; they're not oh. nearly as warm. So that's okay. a, that's a fall and spring. But it's not as cute. We're going with these ones. Welcome to Van Improvement Day, in the Target parking lot, next to the Home Depot parking lot, because every project takes three trips. We're installing curtains in the van for privacy, because I didn't care if anybody stared at me while I was sleeping, but it's a little weird when. People stare at my wife while she's sleeping. So the plan is to figure out how to hang curtain valances. Yes, valances. Valances um, in the van. We bought some valances. We bought some rope. We're going to attempt to use other stuff that I already have. I mean, we're going to have to hem them later. You're going to hem them? I'm going to hem them later. By hand? No. My sister owns a sewing machine. So does Lex. Yeah, Lexi's gonna hem them for Your sister's gonna hem them for Chad, Lexi, you're gonna hem these for us. Film this one. I don't wanna film my own mistakes. You don't wanna film your own mistakes so no one else can learn from your mistakes? I've become like a chimpanzee and I'm now using tools. I'm using a, a pen to put this stuff through instead of just my fingers. When we first started dating, you would have fought me like crazy in this whole project. Is that not what I've been doing? I think we're gonna eat something, and then I'm gonna actually think this through. Oh, this is really hard to work on. I feel for my dad to build most of, the, most of this van now. This van was a uh, winning gift from my dad to us to have adventures in, and, and also because his uh, son decided he would ride an e-bike full-time in Michigan when he lived 13 miles from work. So, uh, took pity on me and my, my poor sweet wife and bought us this van. Now you might think, wow, that's really nice. What a what a spoiled brat you are. You got this really cool van. Well, the van was $600. And we got it from some some kind of Amish Mennonite. They were definitely in a community people from Indiana. They wanted 1000 Probably could have got it for 400 We paid six, And they lived in a farm. And I think that's what they did was they grew corn, which is cool. The van was used for the last year as a uh, play area for children. So it was full of wrappers and, and mice and rust it was pretty gross it was originally a 17 passenger van it's a 1993 dodge 350 started right up sat for a year started right up can you believe that not a new battery in it nothing there will be a picture somewhere in here what the van looked like when we got it smelled good though smelled like an old van like an old man should and it drove like an old man should we found out that the trailer we rented from u-haul for the van uh, was too small. You couldn't get the van on it. So we had to drive the van back. It w wasn't safe. And it took a long time because the van could only go 64 miles an hour. Nobody was impressed with the van. My mom didn't like it. My wife didn't like it. Well, my soon-to-be wife, she wasn't, wasn't married yet. No, they didn't, they didn't see my vision. They didn't see my dad's vision. They didn't believe that it could be what it, what it became. How did you feel about the van originally? It was a nightmare machine. It looked like the kind of vehicles my mom says don't go into for the oh, majority of my right. life. We started tearing uh, the floor up and checking it out because we weren't able to do that when we were there. And, you know, maybe we didn't see the vision anymore at that point because the uh, shackle for the leaf spring had gone through the floor. So we found some guys on Craigslist, some old, old dudes. The guy had to be like 70 years old, retired mechanics. And they looked at it and they were like, I don't know if I can do that. So it costs more to fix that than it costs to buy the van itself, actually. We had it all welded up, had the front end redone, new tire accessories added to it. My dad 
painted it, he insulated it, he, you know, first he gutted it, stripped it, cleaned it, then he painted it, he hand rolled the van. Like, this is not a spray on paint job. This is Rust Oleum rolled on with little foam and four inch rollers. And it looks good. It's definitely a pretty, it's, it's a beauty from 20 feet. Insulated it, put a fan in it, put the lights in it, redid the electrical, all sorts of stuff. A lot, a lot of work he put in this van. <laughs> And then, uh, then he gave it to us, and we put some stickers on it ourselves, and uh, we, built the, we built the bed frame with all my dad's materials and tools. And help. Well, I mean, I was able to, well, yeah. Well, it actually turned out to be a much better van than I expected. It's been mechanically sound since we got it, except well, that one time the muffler fell off. <laughs> cute clip. But other than that, it's been, a, it's been a great, great gift, and cool. a lot of cool experiences have come out of it. Today's the day. Then Olivia learns to drive the van. This is a big moment for me, so I can not have to drive the van everywhere. We finished the curtains. They turned out pretty good. They don't look so good right now, but they turned out pretty good. <laughs> Are you excited? Sure. Okay. Buckle up. Buttercup. Uh, I don't need my seatbelt, but... I think you do. Put your seatbelt on. Oh my gosh, is there a way to move the seat forward? Because I can't touch the pedal. First problem, she can't, can't, touch. can't touch the pedal. Does the seat actually move forward? I don't know. Okay, so we figured out how to get her closer. Now you're going to turn the van on. Yep. You got to push it in at the same time. There we go. Good. Right. Now you need to put it in drive. <laughs> okay, so but you gonna... need to tell them that none of this works, so it's not my fault. Don't tell the internet. We're breaking the law. <laughs> it's a park. Reverse neutral drive. You need Reverse. To... Yep. Neutral. Yep. Drive. Well, I there went down two. I'm there either in neutral or drive right now. Press the gas and find out. <laughs> okay, see? Now you're driving the van. Okay, but now that I know how unsafe this is, I don't think we can ever ride it again. This feels like a death trap. <laughs> oh, this is fun, Mike. I see why you like it. So how do you know how fast you're going? You don't. You just gotta have a feel for it. Press the grass like crazy. Just and, you, and the back end's gonna come around because it's got rear-wheel drive. What's gonna happen? Should I? You'll figure it out. Just <laughs> okay. press the gas. Go. So... You floor it. The rear tries to go without the front of the van. Yeah. It tries to go by itself. Like sometimes you're driving it's just, yeah. and like somehow you're going straight, but your wheel looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, that uh, you just it, it happens at high speeds. Oh my gosh! I do not like that. I do not like that. Why See, didn't you tell me look what at was that. gonna happen? Counter steered. You counter steered. You did fine. What did I do? You, uh, you turned the five. lights on the out. I see why you like this. What, should the lights be on? This is for the lighting of the video. Am I van approved? Man, you're van approved. So Olivia's gonna do some stunts. <laughs> there's, there's her burnout. <laughs> I wanted to throw it in reverse and it's going back towards the school, but I can't. How? Okay. Don't, don't throw it into reverse. What do you want from me? What? Good ride? Yeah. Alright. Get in. Mike, look at this. I'm facing left and we're going straight. That's true. It does that. I'm afraid I don't want to do it anymore. Switch with me. No, you're driving home. <laughs> That's actually fun. Yeah. See? That was fun. Yeah, you feel, feel like you could drive it to the UP? Not to the UP, but I can like start driving it to the grocery store or something. Cool. I think I'm more comfortable with it. Yeah, good. Yeah. You get used to it. And then get in an accident and never yeah. drive to the UP. You get used to it. I don't know how I feel about these curtains yet. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't like them. What about them don't you like? I just, it's just not clean enough, Olivia. It's not, is it too long? You hung them on rope and we bought them from Target. What do you expect? Exactly.